In this tutorial I want to show you how you can use the Mosul Simulation Center in order to work collaboratively on success models. In our case we now have three different users. So the first user is Lahun, the second user is Senpai and the third user is an anonymous user which will be joining our community later. So as you can see both are in the workspace of the ISIS community and they are both uh, looking at the success model of the Timiduka service. So this success model has already been prepared by the community and the goal is now to update this in a collaborative fashion. So the first thing that you need to do is to toggle the edit mode on both the screens. So now three new buttons have appeared and so the first button is shows you which people have already visited your uh, workspace. So in this case we see that for example Lachun has already visited workspace of Senpai and also we see that uh, guest users can also join the community. The next button is the button which shows all available workspaces and if we click on this button then we can go to the workspace of this particular user. So in this case if I click on this button then I will join the workspace of Lachun. And this also is written here on the banner so this is the workspace of Lachun. Um, we cannot make any changes yet, but we will change this in a moment. The last button is the share link to current workspace button. This button is only available to you if you are the owner of the workspace and it allows you to share it uh, via a link with other people which don't necessarily have a Lasupir account. So if I just click on this button then the link has been copied to my clipboard and so now I can just paste it on this browser right here to join the community as an anonymous user. So I click on continue as visitor and I pick a username. In this case I will call myself uh, Jeff. So if I now join the community then we can see that I see the same success model which the, the other users are also looking at. What we also see is that, for example, Senpai has joined the workspace of Lahun, but he cannot edit anything yet because this is currently disabled. So if I now click on the visitors button and then click on allow editing, then I give editing rights to this particular user. So now you can see I can also uh, edit the measures or even delete measures like so. What we also then see is that this measure also instantly disappears for the other two users. If at a later time we want to revoke the rights of a certain users, we can just um, click on this button here and then only um, Senpai can only view the success model but not edit anything anymore. What's also important to note is that, for example, Jeff is a guest user and so he can only view the success model and it is not possible to give him editing rights. Furthermore, only the owner of the workspace can actually save the model. So for example, if I go um, give permission, editing permissions to Senpai and then go to try to save model right here, it doesn't show the button because only the owner of the, of the workspace can save the success model. So if I just click on save model then the model will be uploaded to the service and we should get a successful response right here. 